So what if your dentist causes you nerve damage? Can you sue them? Hi, my name is Charles Buse and I'm a personal injury and wrongful death lawyer here in Orlando, Florida. And I made this video to help guide folks that have gone to the dentist and are experiencing nerve damage. So let's jump right into it. Now, I grew up in a dental practice. My father was a single parent, I was an only child, and he was a dentist. And so I grew up naturally working in a dental practice. And my father was the type of person that was the person you go to when someone else is screwed up. And so I saw a lot of bad stuff. And my experience in dentistry is that nerve damage is one of the scariest things that can happen to a patient. Usually the patient wakes up the day after the procedure and still has numbness, but they go, oh, that's weird. You know, maybe it's just the anesthetic. Maybe this is going to wear off. But after a day or two, the patient starts freaking out because they know something's wrong. That anesthetic should have worn off by now. Then they go to a specialist who may tell them they need serious surgery or they're going to have to learn to live with permanent nerve damage for the rest of their life. Uh, and this can be a really traumatic experience for people. A lot of times, all this bad news comes after something simple like a root canal or a wisdom tooth extraction. So what the heck happened? How does someone end up with permanent nerve damage after a routine dental procedure? Well, the reality is that a dentist's carelessness or negligence can cause nerve damage. Typically, we see nerve damage when the dentist worked on the patient's bottom back teeth. And that's because the inferior alveolar nerve runs right through the center of the jawbone. So a dentist might place an implant too deeply or perform a root canal incorrectly or improperly extract a tooth and cause the patient to suffer permanent nerve damage which will manifest as some sort of numbness on their cheeks, their lips, their face, their gums. The dentist may also damage the lingual nerve, which runs down the bottom of the mouth near the tongue. And this can happen if the dentist gets too aggressive with a wisdom tooth extraction and fractures the lingual cortical plate, or if the dentist is careless in giving the patient a shot of anesthetic. Overall, there are a lot of ways a dentist can cause a patient to suffer nerve damage. And if you think you've suffered nerve damage, and you want to talk to somebody and find out what's going on, you can give us a call. And we're happy to give you a free legal consultation, talk with you about what's going on, and discuss the possible options for you moving forward. Give us a call at the number in the video description below, or you can visit our dental malpractice page at www.carelessdentist.com. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we'll see you next time.